For those who don't know what's been going on this week, but uh, Monroe was involved in a beauty campaign to launch. Uh, it was uh, for L'Oreal to uh, for the True Match Foundation, which uh, comes in a wide uh, range of skin shades. And it was supposed to be an include. It was supposed to be an inclusive campaign, which why they included. Monroe and uh, like Clara Amphill and uh, Neil Amgill <laughs> and uh, just days after the launch uh, a Facebook deleted post that she made regarding Charlottesville um, was sold to the Daily Mail and well like they had like a field day with it mm-hmm. and it's been a media storm half I guess we were talking about earlier that it's been 50% in support mm-hmm. and 50% negative so I guess what we want to do is first like debunk a lot of the things that the, from the negative side and one of the things um, that has been said and just because sometimes I get a worry that um, the things that we say just uh, get bounce off each other in an echo chamber yeah. and don't mm. reach out so yeah. we're going to try and uh, sort that out today <laughs> <laughs> so first of all um, why is uh, grouping white people together as one race not racist who wants to go first anybody can jump in <laughs> anybody can discursively uh-huh. i don't know i think yeah there's what um we refer to as you know kitchen table talk when we're just at um yeah socially hanging out we we do we use those phrases you know mm-hmm. um yeah all white people you know all queer people mm-hmm. all black, you know so i don't think yeah in that in the for the tone of the post it wasn't out of place no um and yeah. also like if you put place it it's all about how um you speak how you're addressing a group of people if you're speaking about um an actual physical group of people yeah within a room yeah. that's very different to speaking mm. about it on the planes of society mm. and that post was speaking about it as, a, as speaking about white people as a social construct because yeah. whiteness doesn't actually exist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It is a made up thing. Mm-hmm. Yes. And over, if you look back in history, there's been certain groups of white people, say, I mean, like the Irish that white people always like, love to bring they up. They love to bring <laughs> up. <laughs> always love to bring up the Irish. So, um, I mean, the Irish people were not considered white at mm-hmm. one point. But there's then, a great collection of essays about that, how exactly. the Irish became white. Yeah. yeah. And then Irish people then became white. So if you can become white, then it doesn't exist. Yeah. So if we speak about racism as a power structure, um, it's not offensive because whiteness doesn't exist. You're speaking about a power structure. Mm. So if you're speaking about the corruptness and um, corruption within, Mm -hmm. is corruptness a word? (laughs) You're speaking about corruption. It's a a word word now. Um, So (laughs) if you're speaking about corruption, basically, if you're speaking about (laughs) corruption within a power structure, then of course, I mean, that's not a problem. I just want people to understand that when you are fighting against a person of color um calling out corruption then you are complicit in that corruption yeah. whether or not you think that you're complicit in it mm-hmm. um or not it doesn't really matter mm. because it doesn't exist people and i think that stop re- fighting for something that doesn't <laughs> exist and i think that the reason that they get so offended by it is because white people do think that they are equal to poc mm. and that because a lot of the things that i've been seeing thrown around is like well if you gripped a bunch of uh, black people or a bunch of uh, gay people or a bunch of women like this then it wouldn't be the same thing and they feel like they've been dealt an unfair hand because we can say certain things about them and their race as a construct Uh um, that they cannot say to us because it's not true but where does the root of that lie because they're not taught it and also but also like we we they have like these unmarginalized groups have social capital that we don't have Mm -hmm. and when they when we talk when we conceive of like prejudice um again like when we could when we talk about like racism we talk about like talking addressing these groups collectively as yep. forms of like prejudice or racism mm-hmm. um if you don't conceive of racism like in a structural sense then it's insufficient analysis yep. right because mm. Like, I might be prejudiced against all people with blue eyes, but my prejudice against people with blue eyes does not, is not part of a system that actively mm. yeah. contributes to the murder, yeah. the, se- um, the like subjugation, um, and the dehumanization of people with blue eyes. Yeah. I might hate all people with blue eyes, I might choose not to date people with blue eyes, but that would not in any way contribute <laughs> to their oppression. Yeah. Yeah. Your, your, your anti-blackness, or your, your dislike of black people, your desire to... Um, to de- to your, your, your dislike of black people is in fact working within uh, and contributing to a system of the subjugation mm. of these people of mm. colour. Right. And that's just, that's reality. Yeah. Mm. 
And going back to that, Amen. Like, yeah, the whole, um, grouping people and saying, well, what if we said all black people mm-hmm. were this? But people have to actually look back to where do these stereotypes come from? Yeah. Mm. And then by doing that, who's benefit? Who's benefiting from it? Mm-hmm. No, like black people who are called thugs. That actually feeds itself into the system. Yeah, yes. because mm. you can say that uh, white people don't season their food or they can't cook, but doesn't stop them becoming the right. best chefs in the world. Mm. They're you not know? actually. Yeah. So yeah. That's not mm. going to affect. That's, that's, that's not going to disadvantage not going to, you. Not, You're not going yeah, to get work because of that. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's not going to lead to violence against these people. It's not going to um, marginalise. Also, what kills me, right, is what Monroe said. Isn't even rem- it's not remotely new or remotely controversial. No, it really Muhammad, isn't. Muhammad Ali has went on went on television and said very explicitly that like if you believed in a collective sort of editorial idea, like editor- the editorial they, that white people and a system of like white people and system of dominance effectively, if you believed that there were good apples in what was a collective in back in the 50s and 60s and mm-hmm. what was a collective group of people who were actively working towards your subjugation either by their silence and their complicity or actively segregating and actively trying to work against mm-hmm. you um mm. and you saw like a, if you saw i think it was snakes he used if you saw mm. um, a sea of like rattlesnakes coming yeah, towards yeah, you yeah. I've you, seen wouldn't, that video you wouldn't you would you would shut the door you wouldn't say well there are some good rattlesnakes mm. who are going to come yeah. and like create a barrier Rose. between me yeah Malcolm, I remember that interview. Malcolm X has also said very similar things. Yes. Black ra- black radicals and black revolutionaries have been making the same point for so long. Mm-hmm. And a very good point to bring up as well that white people also say these things as well. Of course. And do yeah. not get, I mean, Absolutely. But sorry, I'm to no, get in there. Yeah. No, no, get, get in sure. there. The I just feel like, you know, that when they talk about... Um, the lack of an equivalent, when they talk about, oh, you know, if I were to group, say that about black people, if I was to say that about <laughs> <laughs> this <laughs> accent. <laughs> it's I real. Accent. It, literally, I've had it with that accent many times. Um, but yeah, um, <laughs> at the end of the day, there is no equivalent. There is no equivalent to the N word for white people. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? What they, and the, re- the thing is, then they then react to being called racist as yes. if that is, yeah, the equivalent. Can we talk to about if, this? Because yeah. I don't understand how <laughs> yeah. identifying a <laughs> behavior <laughs> and racism, it's calling someone a racist is yeah. not an insult. Mm. Calling someone a racist, when I say you are racist, yeah. I am mm. calling out your behavior. Mm. Yeah. I am asking for you to um, describe, to um, identify that your behavior is wrong. Yeah. That saying that I'm racist for identifying your behavior mm-hmm. as racist makes mm-hmm. absolutely no sense. Mm. It's about as it, it makes about as much sense as saying you are violent. No, but you're mm-hmm. violent for calling me violent. This doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So I what, see what them are you doing? As the foot like, soldiers. Yeah. No. So as I feel like they react that way because of, to stop us from getting any further in the conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they bring it up there, then we can't then get in, onto like you know. It's upholding unconscious- whiteness. Yeah, that, that's yeah. what it is. But, it's mm-hmm. a, it's a knee jerk reaction to old, old, yeah. uphold whiteness. Being called a, like let's just stop. Let's, the real tea is let's just stop this right here. Yeah. Okay. Being called a racist is not a slur. Mm. Being called a tough is not a slur. Mm. Describing behaviors. That whether or not you believe that label actually represents you, mm. it's not true. Being called the N word is a slur. And also, why do so many people respond to being called racist mm. with actual slurs? Like, They're like, mm. well, if, I, if, yeah, you're, going, if yeah. you're going to call me racist, then you N word bitch. Why, mm. don't yeah, you, yeah. why don't you fuck off back to Africa? Mm-hmm. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it makes absolutely no sense. So at what point did uh, calling someone uh, racist be- become calling someone a racist become worse than? Hold on, wait a minute. I'm just yeah. 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 At what point did yeah, calling yeah, someone yeah. a racist become worse than actual racist? Actually racist. Being a racist yeah. Yeah. And why why are people why are we treating them as like and, and the things. consequences of calling out racism are much harsher than someone actually saying something like the N word in a um, wood mean. pile. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I yes, remember right. distinctly John how Terry many his career. white commentators were saying, "Oh, you know, yeah, of course it's a terrible word, etc." But she shouldn't lose her right. job. Okay. That would be a step too far. <laughs> you know, <laughs> got the accent on point. Like, <laughs> <laughs> These are real people. The I meet them every day. The I, <laughs> fucking class. Um, I mean, like, Donald uh, Trump is like the president of the United States. There we go. There we go. The consequences for us calling out racism are infinitely more than what it is for um yeah white people who um it's, yeah it celebrate is their race essentially it publicly it's essentially sorry to cut you off it no, is essentially cool. brainwashing yeah. and mm. we brainwashing is nothing new mm-hmm. and that anger we need to speak about that anger i think 
mm. like white anger when speaking about racism because it mm. doesn't come when as we were saying before the show starts it doesn't come when a white person calls out racism it's mm. only yeah. really mm. when, when a person of color yeah, calls and I mm. think that the anger the sheer anger is because I'm queer mm. is because I'm trans yeah. is because I'm black <laughs> yeah. so all and the conversations over each other see, that pisses people yeah. off did yeah. you see how it infinitely became less and mm. in all of my interviews became less when I talked about being mixed race yes yes, yes. yeah it's fine yes. because mm. I'm light lighter skinned it's mm. fine because I'm like prettier than mm. you know yeah. what you would associate with being mm. like yeah, trans because mm. there's yeah. all of that to mm. go yeah. with mm. as well mm. because yeah. trans can't be beautiful mm-hmm. like it's mm-hmm. there's so many things that are really fucked up about this oh and it's all God, yeah. about the intersections it's mm. not got nothing to do with the message it's all about who i am mm. yeah I, agree. Also, I would recommend if you don't believe that white fragility is an actual like studied and recorded phenomenon there are papers yeah. on the internet google is your mm. friend mm. yeah like honestly mm. just check it out